Okay, I just wanted to share a uh, bit of an add-on to the handle, um, maybe a bit of a backstory as well. Um, so the, the handle, um, the hand handle, started out as an arm um, and it didn't have a hand on it to begin with. It was basically an arm with just a, like a egg shaped sort of handle. Um, and yeah, from there I kind of went on to want a hand to attach to it instead of the egg shaped part, um, just to make it feel even more legit. Um, and that's how the handle came about. Uh, started out as messing about with different 3D print models and stuff like that, just trying to find a, a hand that I thought would, would sort of suit the most people. Uh, and then from there, uh, playing around with it for a while, I kind of discovered that the hand worked good as a handle without the arm. So I kind of, I kind of stopped using the arm with it and, and it became more just a handle. Um, and the arm was quite complicated to make, so again, that's kind of why I didn't go down that path. Um, but yeah, I've been playing around, trying to, to find ways to, to make it a bit more simple, but still kind of work similar to an arm and, and give you those restrictions that an arm would kind of give you. And it's very, very simple. Uh, it works quite well. You don't have to modify anything. Um, so yeah, I'll show you. It's basically a spring with loops on it. It's a pretty tough spring. It doesn't open up mega easy. Um, and all you need is a couple of these bow shackle, D shackles, whatever you call them, um, and a like a eye bolt. So basically, that that's it. That's all you need. Um, so from there, all you do is take your opposing opposition pad off. And that just goes straight down whatever hole you've already got where your elbow pads would sit. Um, and again, you can change this if you move it to the back holes, or the back hole, if you've only got a front and back. Um, obviously, that'll give you more room to, to drag. If you start at the front, it'll give you access to being able to be at the back of your pad. Um, it's good both ways, but for this, I'll put it in the very back one. So basically, you just slide that in. Put your nut on the nut and the washer on the bottom of it, and basically just tighten that up. Doesn't even need to be mega tight. You can just I just put it in there and just do it up finger tight. It seems to work fine. Just like that. The other good thing about having it as an eyeball, um, if you want this arm to be longer. Right now you'll see, once that's kind of on there, it's pretty close to hitting my wrist. So if I wanted to make this longer, all you do is just adjust this eyeball up a bit and all of a sudden you can have this arm being much longer. So it's fully adjustable. And then from there all you do, you can play around with it, but you basically just attach it to this, the middle eye. Basically just straight to that little eye bolt. And there you go, you've got it, you've got your hand now attached to basically like an arm. And that lets it basically move around in any direction that you want. So if you think about your wrist, this thing can do pretty much the same. So it doesn't make it restrictive if you want to do some hook training with it, um, whatever really. So, and the other good thing about it being a spring is it does give you some resistance for if you want to just do rising. Obviously, if you wanted to increase this weight, you just then start to add your weight stack to 
the outside eyes wherever you want to go. Um, and from there you pretty much just attach it the same way you would attach if you didn't have the arm. So I'll just do a quick one with bands. These are already set up. You can do weight stack, whatever. So I'll just put one at the top. One on the bottom. Tighten them up. This one probably needs to be tighter, but... So from there, you can... So basically it's really restricting you to the same movements now that an arm can do. So you can't be going and moving this hand to positions that you're never going to get in a match. So now it's, it's locked, so you will all of a sudden be restricted by how much you can move your hand in. Um, but like I said, it really doesn't stop you from doing anything. You can still work your cup with that. So rising, you can hook it. Um, I recommend if you're going to hook it to have it in, in the front hole up because um, it'll put a lot of pressure through like the bottom of your hand, the more stretched out that is. Uh, and obviously the same thing goes if, if you don't want the spring resistance, you just make the eye bolt long enough that basically when you're up where you want to be, it's not really giving you anything. Um, but it does add, it is, it does make this a little bit different to use, having that resistance pulling down. It's kind of like, I guess, somebody planting their elbow, elbow in the pad and, and you basically trying to lift them off. But yeah, I thought I'd just share with you guys for anybody who kind of would like to make it more realistic. Uh, obviously when I eventually I'm get the left and all that done, it will be the same process to basically just undo. I mean, you could just use a snap clip if you wanted, just one of them, uh, it doesn't really matter. I just use that, just, I don't know, I just trust it more. Like I said, very easy to take off. You can just leave it set up on your table if you wanted. So when you want to do the training with the whole arm, it's there ready to go, but yeah. It really does change the way it feels. Um, so what I'll do with these, uh, I just buy this stuff from my local hardware shop. Um, some of the springs have open ends. You can use them, that's kind of how it started. I just got have an old trampoline spring that I was playing around with, but a couple of times it kind of fell off and could get a bit dangerous so I found one like I said with the closed loops and this has something like a 400 kilo braking point or something crazy like something that you're never going to get to um, but yeah I just like the way it kind of still lets you move everywhere so what I'll do uh, I'll probably chuck this on on the site as well for anybody who can't source this and, and wants it. Um, I'll pretty much just put it up there for what I get it for. Uh, I'll add it to a package as well if you wanted to to sort of buy it all together. But um, yeah, it won't be very expensive. I think all of it cost me uh, maybe $20 or something like that. It wasn't very much. You might be able to find something in your local yeah, hardware store or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, something to try. I said it's a bit different. Yeah, thanks for watching.